Hello friends, today we're going to be starting with the basics of calculator for your exam. Uh, on the screen you can see there is a Texas Instrument uh, BA2 plus calculator. Uh, we'll start with the basic function which is uh, on and off, right? So obviously to on the uh, calculator you have to go with this, this button and there is also uh, a button which is called CE slash C we generally call it clear work if suppose I have already inputted something and I want to go to go back to zero I'll straight away put this and it will make everything on my calculator to zero right uh, this is the basic information as of now and we'll move towards the primary function and the secondary function of the calculator now on the calculator you are seeing few few numbers which are there on the buttons for example 1, 2, 3, then n, i by y, pv. So these all are our primary functions. And whatever you see above those primary functions, like I can see uh, data above 7, stat above 8, memory above 0. So these all are our secondary function. And whenever we, we want to trigger these secondary function, we will have to go and press a button called second. This is similar to uh, a shift button that we generally see in our scientific calculator. So this button will help us to initiate the secondary function. For example, if I want to uh, go towards memory, which is a secondary function, I'll first put in second and then I will put in memory. So this will take me towards the memory function. So whenever you want to go towards the secondary function, you have to first input second button that, that is needed. And whenever you want to go back to your original screen, you'll have to press CE slash, which is clear work button, right? Uh, this is your basics of a primary function and secondary function. Now, let us move towards the memory of the calculator. And this, this is where the case becomes very special because as compared to your normal calculator, this calculator has an ability to store values because in the examination, you guys will be doing a lot of calculations uh, which are going to be used in further calculations so those calculation needs to be saved so that you can recall those calculation in future now let, let us uh, see where exactly we can save this number and how do, how do we recall those numbers back okay so you can save your number or save your calculations on from 0 till 9 that means the area that is available for you to save your detail is this much right let me give you an example suppose I have I have uh, typed 45 on my screen. I want to store it to 0. I stored it. Again, I am doing clear work. I am back to square 0. Now, I want to recall and see what I have actually stored in 0. Then I have to go press RCL, which is nothing but recall. And I will do a recall 0. That will give me 45, which was my originally stored value. Right? So, similarly, I can store any number of values on my screen on my numbers into different numbers and if I want to recall and see okay whether these numbers are stored appropriately I can go and see by just placing recall in that particular number now what happens if suppose I've already stored something in key 1 and I want to store further something into it that means suppose the number is 4 times 4 and 3 times 5 already stored in the number 1 uh, key so I want to and I want to store say 30 into this key now I can straightforward go and store it in 1 and when I recall 1 I can see same number so it will overwrite the original number store if I do a new storage on that digit right similarly this this is a basic function for you to understand that your memory is uh, used for storing values now if suppose I want to see what is stored in each number then there is one method of doing a recall for all the numbers but that is cumbersome is there a shortcut available yes there is a shortcut available that is your memory function so I can go to second and press 0 because it has a memory function this shows me m0 m0 is nothing but what is the value that is stored in 0 so like you like you've seen in the video there's the 45 value which was stored in the number 0 
and if I want to check for all the numbers then I just have to press the download button and it will keep me showing what is the value that has been stored in different numbers and if suppose I want to erase all the values stored in these numbers only and I don't want to affect anything else in the calculator then I have to first enter into this function that means I have to first put second and zero so that I enter into this function and then I'll have to put second and clear work now this will make all of my values zero so entire memory of the calculator has been placed to zero 